G'day folks, John in Thailand again. I'm uh, making a little bit of progress with the uh, roof trusses for the for the greenhouse. I've got all six trusses made, and if you have a look down there, there's two which have the brackets welded on, and the other four might get done today. I'll just have to wait and see. It's probably about three now. Uh, yeah, I've got to turn those over and just uh, give them a spray on the other side, just to give them a bit of protection from the from the weather here. Uh, what I haven't got oh, so far is the little uh, wire brackets go here to hold the tubes, which will be uh, oh, say along the the main beam there, probably five lots. I, I haven't got a gas set. I'll, I'll be getting one real soon. So with the with the bending, I tried cold bending on this little jig I made, and it's eight mil, and it's not real good to bend cold. <laughs> so the idea is to well, if I use the other end, start off and bend the first one. And these are, these will be out for the first one. So we'll have them back here. Make the first bend, and then uh, this one's down here. Slide this one across, bend that up. Slide this across, bend that one. Then those two will support the wire. And then just take this one out and pop him in there and do the final one. So that gives me uh, one two captive and two open is it i think uh, up down up down i could go up and that would give me three not captive and two captive so the main tubes could go through one of the two and i'm keeping uh, keeping it at two so that we can run either water or electrical um, conduit through there the uh, the yellow one is uh, the one I'm thinking of it's a bit smaller as you can see here uh, but there is a bigger one <laughs> if I need it once to get the electrician to wire up the, the greenhouse the way I want it we'll have two fans um, I just got a new one for here in the shed, which is a 26. Does a pretty good job. I had the 18, which I didn't really like, but there weren't many. I, well, at the time, I didn't think there were many options. So I bought that one at Macro uh, seven years ago, maybe. It's still going. Um, hasn't given any trouble. But it's only 18, and the difference in the amount of air that this 26 can push out, it, it's got to be double at least. Uh, it's not too bad. I uh, found a couple of problems with it. There was a big scratch on the on the main tube that holds the fan up. Uh, there's a little tiny rust spot on the on the chrome trim ring, and up here there's no way you can keep it from oscillating if you leave this connected to that little uh, stem there so I disconnected it and I made a little bracket uh, so that stops the the actual um, fan head or motor motor housing whatever you call these things from turning so it's secured with two bolts there it's not like it's gonna move around a lot but on the other hand, a fan this powerful, it could move around a lot, and I just don't want it to do that. Uh, it's got locking locking uh, mechanisms on each of the wheels. It's locked at the moment. If you don't, if you don't lock it, I've got two because running on, on on one setting. But if you put it up on three, two, yeah, kind of holds it. But if you get a bit of bit of breeze, it might not. Um, here in the shed I keep both doors at one at each end open and uh, it's good nice heavy base it's got a rubber coating of some sort but it's steel underneath uh, 
has to be fairly substantial because this um, fan motor and all the top heavy bits and pieces does weigh a fair bit. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm happy to say that I'm well on my way to have these trusses completed, possibly by the end of next week. Um, depending on how things go and how much I need to do in the in the workshop for other things I've got little brackets there that are ready to go on just have to weld them on yeah so it's all all good for me and uh, yeah the uprights will be the next thing on the list and they'll go very quickly they'll be very quick to make and then uh, it's a matter of uh, setting it all up I've got the timber sorted out at the ends and around the sides I've made angle iron brackets for the timber so that'll be uh, the second one or third or fourth one and the one over here which is oh, shoot did I well oh, yeah welded the bracket on <laughs> yeah that's that's just a front that's the front so this one as you can see has uh, brackets on both sides. It's actually uh, one piece of angle iron and I've just cut a section out. And I thought I'd do it that way. And I just realized that the next one down, I forgot to spray, <laughs> spray paint it, so I better get on with that. All right then, folks. Well, that's it for me. And uh, I'll catch up with you again. Bye now.